Hey guys, what's up? How are you? I hope that you guys are having an amazing day today. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Adjarelle, and in today's video, I am going to be sharing the 10 eyeshadow palettes that I would be repurchasing just in case for some reason or another my whole entire collection just disappears or my whole entire eyeshadow collection disappears. This 10 eyeshadow palettes that I chose will be the ones that I will be repurchasing first and of course this is just for fun if something more serious were to happen of course I would not be thinking of makeup that is not on my top priorities but this is just a fun video that I wanted to share with you guys I know that it has been going around for a very very long time I want to share with you guys the 10 eyeshadow palettes that I pick so let's go ahead and get started with the video but before we do please don't forget to like and of course subscribe to my channel if you have not already you can and also click the little bell that will notify you whenever I upload a new video and if you like this type of videos and you know of people that will like this type of videos then don't forget to share it as well so yeah let's go ahead and get started I am not ranking any of these palettes by the way I'm just going to show you the first one that I have in the first one is this one right here from makeup by Mario it is the perfect palette for everyday looks you have all the mattes that you need to create any kind of looks and you do have the black and brown right here that you can use for liners to deepen out your outer V just to create any kind of matte looks or to combine it with other eyeshadow palettes this palette right here is really an absolute beautiful palette to have in your collection if you are a makeup artist or if you're just starting into makeup then this palette is going to be your best friend so love this little palette right here so the little quad that I would run to repurchase from Pat McGrath is this one right here which is Venus and Fleur. I think this packaging is absolutely beautiful but the eyeshadow, the eyeshadow quad is just stunning. I'm hoping that I can show it to you. I dropped it a couple of times already so I had to press it down but this is how the little quad looks like. Here is the swatches. I will try to do my best on swatching as much as I can but this little quad right here is absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can see this shade right here. It's just perfect. I would definitely run to get it so love that one so out of all of the Huda Beauty palettes that I have in my collection and this one right here is definitely the one that I would run to get or want to keep in my collection for sure and is this one right here which is the mercury retrograde palette and here we have it so she still gave us those shades that she likes to have which is the pinky tones and the mauvey tones but this road is definitely what does it to me i just think that it's really nice and inspiring i love the, the combination of colors we can definitely keep it for every day but we still have those beautiful green tones um, that I love so much and it's just uh, so much fun pastels with such a deep colors at the same time and I just love it I just think that is a really beautiful palette so here we have some swatches from the mercury retrograde from Huda Beauty absolutely stunning I love all of these colors right here they just stand out they just make me feel so inspiring and I love that I love love that the next eyeshadow palette that i have is from patrick ta and out of the two i have to be true to myself the one that i would definitely reach for more is the first one even though the quality on the second one i feel like it's a little bit better than this one the color story for this one is definitely something that i am more drawn to um not so much the pinky rosy tones i mean because we get that in so many other palettes but this one right here is just really nice and warm and chocolate and I love a really nice brown smoky eye those are my favorite kind of eyes to see on myself and other people as well so love love this palette let me just give you a little bit of swatches so the formula for some reason I just feel like it could be better I hope that he continues on improving with his formula I mean don't take me wrong it's really nice but I feel like it could be a thousand times better a little bit more smooth um, not so much on the drying side because right now as I'm swatching it and the last time that I actually used this palette I just feel like the shimmer shades were not super soft they were a little dry so here we have some shimmer shades but the mattes the mattes are on point they're really nice and soft and buttery and they're just blendable really easy to work with but the shimmers color story i love shimmers i wish that it was just a little bit softer and not so drying so yeah 
but love this palette so the next palette is from natasha denona and this palette is just absolutely stunning it does have some of your warm tones some rosy tones and some cool tones and it is the Biba palette i absolutely love this palette i think that it is absolutely gorgeous beautiful formula super pigmented blendable and all of the good stuff that you have to have in a palette this is a must for me. I don't think the shimmers are all of that, to tell you the truth, but the mattes are just so gorgeous that you just you just need it in your collection, like you need it. And here we have some of the cool tone, the rosy tones, and some of the warm tones as well. The cool tones though, wow, that looks absolutely stunning. I love, love this palette. I think it is such a gorgeous palette to have in your collection, so yeah. Natasha Denona. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the eyeshadow palette that I have on my eyes. And this one is the one that I will definitely be repurchasing if I was to lose my whole entire collection. I do have all of them and is this one right here from Norbina and Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is the volume five. And here is what it looks like. This is a, such a beautiful, beautiful purple tone palette it does have your shimmer shades and it does have some glitter shades as you can see i do have some glitters on my eyes absolutely stunning it's just so gorgeous the quality is amazing and out of the whole entire collection from norvina and anastasia hills i have to say that this one right here is a definitely like my favorite if not like my second favorite but this one will be the one that i will be repurchasing if it was to be gone from my collection just because everybody needs some purple tones in their life for sure super gorgeous palette so speaking of purples the one that i do like a lot from a palette is this one right here from pat mcgrath and this one is the utopian dreams palette this palette is just so gorgeous and here is how the palette looks like. It's absolutely stunning. So here we have some swatches, really gorgeous. We do have some metallic shades, which is this one right here, but these four are her special shade. She does have some mattes. The mattes I'm just like okay with. I mean, they are really good, but the really like star of the shows for this palette is definitely her special shades. And I just love the color story for this palette in particular, really nice and beautiful. Another palette from Natasha Denona that I absolutely fell in love with this year because even though it was in my collection for a little while I just never really gave it the time because I was not into cool tones but this palette right here has actually just stole my heart it is the glam palette from Natasha Denona and it is a really nice cool tone palette but it is so perfect it just makes you look so nice and sophisticated and just a little bit mysterious i mean it is absolutely beautiful and here we have some swatches from the glam palette i think that it's just so perfect those cool tone pinks and those gray tones it's just it, it really makes sense the formula is amazing super nice and buttery buildable like really pigmented but at the same time not super difficult to work with it's really nice formula love this palette i think that it is a must have in your collection if you've never tried cool tones because of your skin tone you don't think that it's gonna go trust me when i tell you this palette right here is just amazing a must have in your collection for sure so we do have a two more palettes to go and this one is another one from pat mcgrath this one was sitting in my collection just like the glam palette was sitting in my collection for a very long time and i decided to create a playlist using all of my pat mcgrath palettes just because that was the only way that i could actually use them and give you guys ideas for different looks so i do have a playlist and i will link it down below in the description area or somewhere up here but this one is the mothership seven divine rose i do have one in the special packaging and this is how it looks like it looks super boring comparing it to her other palettes and maybe that is the reason why i just did not gravitate to it but trust me when i tell you that it is a boring but special at the same time like it gives you those everyday looks but with something special so it, it's not boring i mean it is but it's not 
you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just a, so gorgeous and I absolutely love this palette. Just fell in love with all the looks that I created. Once again, I will link that video down below in the description area, the whole entire playlist. But here we have some swatches so you can see this shade right here, which is the shimmer shade that I just fell in love with. So gorgeous. And this one right here that does have like a, like a shift to it. It's like iridescence and pink and we do have some pink and gold as well it's just really nice and ethereal really soft sophisticated but beautiful i don't know i don't know how to explain it this palette just really blew my mind and i fell in love with this palette so yeah we'll definitely be repurchasing that one right away for sure and the last palette that i have here is from uh, coloring and, and this one right here is called the vivid pigments and shadows and it looks like this and of course if you know me and you have been following me for a little while i absolutely love colors i love to get creative i love to wear eyeshadows and sometimes i do want to gravitate to these type of colors of course i am not doing that as much anymore just because my style is definitely changing but i still need some color in my life if this palette is available i will link it down below in the description area as well as everything that i have talked to you guys about today so yeah that is it for this video let me know in the comment section down below which are your top three palettes i mean if you want to share your top 10 palettes that you will need to have back into your collection let me know for sure but if you only want to share three then that's fine as well but yeah that is it thank you so much for being here thank you so much for your love your time and support please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you next time Bye.